this video, you will learn how to solve multi-step equations with variables on both sides. Remember that when you solve an equation, you're trying to get the variable on one side of the equal sign all by itself. That's called isolating the variable. And you want everything else on the other side. Let's jump right in with the first example. Solve for x. 63 minus x equals 2x plus 3. The first step we're going to take is to add 1x to both sides of this equation. When we add 1x to both sides of the equation, the left side ends up being just 63 because negative x plus x equals 0, so it goes away. On the right side of the equation, we will end up with 2x plus 1x, which will give us 3x. Here we are with 63 equals 3x plus 3. Now we could have subtracted 2x from both sides, but this is what would have happened. There's not really a right or a wrong way that we could have done this. It's okay to do the minus 2x on both sides instead of plus 1x. But what happens is you'll, you'll get this negative 3x. Now you, you can figure out how to solve an equation that has a negative variable in it, but it's not quite as easy as solving an equation that has a positive variable in it. So it's a better choice to add 1x to both sides instead. So let's get back to our original plan. We added 1x on both sides of the equation, giving us 63 equals 3x plus 3. Now we have a two-step equation to solve. Let's get rid of the plus 3 on both sides of the equation. Subtracting 3 on both sides will end up giving us 60 equals 3x. Then we can divide both sides by 3. 60 divided by 3 is 20, and that will be equal to x. It kind of looks like a long process, but if you think about what you have to do in each step in order to get that variable all by itself, you should be able to figure it out. It's kind of like a puzzle. Let's look at the next one. Example number two, solve for x. 4x plus 4 equals 2x plus 36. Remember, we need to figure out how to get all the variable terms on one side of the equation and all the other terms on the other side of the equation. So let's start by subtracting 2x from both sides. The x's are all going to go over to the left side. Then we need to get that 4 out of the left side and move it over to the right side. So let's subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. That will eliminate the 4 on the left. 4x minus 2x is 2x, and 36 minus 4 is 32. Now we need to get the x completely by itself by dividing both sides by 2. On the left, that will give us x, and on the right, that will give us 16. Now I did this one a little bit differently than I did in example 1. In example 1, I did one step at a time, one step on each line of my problem solving. But on this example, I did two steps in one. You can choose which way you want to do it, but if this looks too confusing to you, it's definitely okay to do only one step at a time, like I did in example one. Example three, 4x plus 5 times the quantity of 7x minus 3 equals 9 times the quantity of x minus 5. Okay, this looks like a big, scary problem, but you know how to simplify both sides of this equation. So let's get started with distributing. 5 times 7x is 35x, and 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And then 9 times x is 9x, and 9 times negative 5 is negative 45. Let's rewrite the whole equation with those changes. Once you have made those changes and distributed the 5 and the 9, now we need to look and see where all the variables are. I see three terms that have x's. Two of them are on the left and one of them is on the right. We can simplify the expression that's on the left side, 4x plus 35x minus 15, by combining the 4x and the 35x. Both of them are positive, so we can just add them together. 4 and 35 is 39. Now we have simplified both sides of the equation as much as we possibly can, but we still have x's on both sides of the equation. 
So we can decide, does it make more sense to subtract 39x from both sides and get negative 30x on the right? Or does it make more sense to subtract 9x from both sides and get positive 30x on the left? I think it makes more sense to subtract 9x from both sides. Subtracting 9x is going to make it so there are no x's on the right side. So we need to take away the 15, the negative 15, from the left and get it over to the right side. So getting rid of that negative 15 means we need to add 15 to both sides. When we do all of this math, we're going to have 30x equals negative 30. The next step is to completely isolate that x and get it all by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by 30, so we need to divide it by 30. And whatever we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other side as well. So divide both sides by 30. On the left, that gives us 1x, or just x. And on the right, that gives us negative 30 divided by positive 30, which is negative 1. Now you should know how to solve multi-step equations with variables on both sides. Thanks for watching.